Kevin James has become a popular and successful comedian and actor since he began doing stand-up in the late 80s, a while known for his long-running role of Doug Heffernan on the hit sitcom King of Queens. The show ran from 1998 to 2007, and in addition to his TV work, James appeared in a handful of films such as Hitch, I Now Proud Out to Chuck and Larry, Paul Blart, Mall Cop, and many more. With his success over the years, the actor has used some of that fortune, buying stunning mansions notably a few in the Sunshine State. Unfortunately, Kevin lost millions when he sold his most recent Florida property for $12.6 million, considering he and his wife bought it for $14 million in January 2021. This beautiful estate was located in Delray Beach and boasted all the bells and whistles, including an elevator, guest house, bar, games room, saltwater pool and spa, and much more. In January 2021, Kevin James snagged himself a new place to escape, a jaw-dropping mansion in Delray Beach, Florida, which besides all of its other highlights, was also oceanfront. Delray Beach is a small city on Florida's southeast coast where the Pineapple Grove Arts District boasts public art and galleries. Other highlights include the Lakeside Morikami Museum and Japanese gardens, which offer tea ceremonies, calligraphy workshops, and serene outdoor spaces. Kevin had paid $14 million for the mansion, located in the heart of the Sunshine State's Gold Coast, which is beautifully landscaped and walled off for privacy. Features of the newly built property included an elevator, a guest house, games room, bar, and wine cellar. The mansion reportedly spanned around 12,000 square feet of space, while there was also the separate guest house containing one bedroom and one bathroom. In the main house, there were six beds and 10 baths throughout, right across three levels. The interiors float out to wrap around iron embellished and column balconies and terraces. The floors in Kevin's mansion were made of porcelain tile and hardwood, while ceilings boasted custom wood paneling in many of their rooms. Kevin and his wife Stephanie could enjoy the living room, which offered direct pool views as well as a gas fireplace with stone mantel and wet bar. The main living room boasted a wall of glass sliders, which opened right out to a large covered patio, while most of the decor in the home's interiors were bright, white, and sleek. Over in the kitchen, the space was equipped with two islands as well as a breakfast tub. Elsewhere in the mansion, there was a games room gathering space that opened via glass doors right to the poolside loggia, which further connected to the guest house. The rec room had a unique orange-topped pool table as well, and even a mini bar. While nearby, there was a cavernous wine cellar too. Kevin Master Suite was located on the top floor and offered its own modern gas fireplace, a sitting area, as well as two sets of French doors leading out onto a balcony with water views. There's also space for a home office here, double walk-in closets, and an impressive spa style ensuite bath with white marble counters, a modern deep soaking tub, and a glass enclosed steam shower. The other bathrooms are just as luxurious, with one even boasting a deep soaking tub set behind a wall of glass. Offering privacy for any guest, the first floor ensuite guest bedroom of the home can be accessed from the front porch. Over on the second floor, three ensuite guest bedrooms all have ocean view balcony. Beautifully landscaped and walled off for privacy, the outdoor area of Kevin's serene home is just as impressive. On the grounds of his Florida mansion, you'll find an angular saltwater pool and spa, which dominates most of the yard, as well as tall palm trees surrounding it. There's even an open air kitchen with plenty of room to relax and entertain. Direct beach access and an attached five-car garage round out the property's offerings. In the end, the comedian ate a loss in the sale of his Delray Beach home, considering he was hoping to sell it for about $20 million. The gorgeous property ultimately changed hands in 2023 for $12.67 million instead. But this isn't Kevin's first time buying and selling Florida real estate either, considering in 2016 he sold another abode in Delray Beach for $26.4 million, which he made a healthier profit on. While he may have ate a loss on that man, Kevin James has a history of making profits in Florida, as he previously sold a different Delray Beach home for $26.4 million in 2016, which he had acquired for $18.85 million four years before. The comedian's home sale was first reported by The Real Deal. Situated on nearly three acres of beachfront property, this estate was set on Ocean Boulevard and featured a Grand Mediterranean Revival mansion spanning 26,000 square feet and housing eight bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 
bathrooms, seven fireplaces, and a 10-car garage. The property also included a double island chef's kitchen, gym, wine cellar, saltwater pool, and a children's playground situated on more than an acre of artificial grass. Hello, easy maintenance. James acquired the property through the Opie Russell Trust and originally listed the mansion for sale in February at $28.85 million. It didn't take long for the property to find a buyer, spending less than six months in the market, a relatively swift sale for such high-end estate. Additionally, the property offers 2.8 acres of beachfront land, exquisite finishes like antique European oak and Alhambra tile throughout its interiors, as well as touches of limestone and coral. The house also boasts other luxurious features like meticulously landscaped gardens, meandering pathways, seven fireplaces, and covered loggias scattered throughout the property. We don't know where Kevin James will head to next or which mansion he's got his eye on in Delray Beach, but for today, that's gonna wrap up our house tour. After getting a look at two of Kevin's Florida mansions, which one did you prefer? Thanks for watching, and before we go, answer this question for me. If you were about to eat a loss on a home you bought, would you hang on to it or just take the L and move on? Let me know down in the comments what you would do, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you would like to stay tuned for another tour, then coming up next, we've got this look into the homes of Adam Sandler. Bye! While Adam Sandler might play an average Joe in most of his movies, in real life this funny man lives a total life of luxury. Sometimes coming across as too casual or very down to earth, we can forget that Adam is uber wealthy and successful, but the man has amassed a net worth estimated at $480 million. He's long called a nearly 13,000 square foot Pacific Palisades estate his main residence, while he and his family also have homes in places like Malibu as well as over in Florida. Also, Michael and I I just dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our family channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. Oh, and once you watch it, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Adam Sandler is a comedian, actor, and filmmaker who starred on Saturday Night Live in the 90s before going on to star in a a long list of Hollywood films. These movies combined have earned over $4 billion at the box office. Adam also has a $350 million deal currently with streaming platform Netflix. And his latest release, Hustle, a sports drama in which he plays a basketball scout, has broken some records. Hustle has given him some of the best reviews of his career to date, and over on Rotten Tomatoes, it's currently ranked as the most liked by his fans and the highest rated of his career when judged by the audience score, now sits at 92%. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how Sandler's future Netflix content measures up. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. In this one, checking out where Adam Sandler and his family call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. We'll kick things off with the main Sandler residence, Adam's Mansion in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, where he lives with his family. Located in an upscale residential neighborhood here between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Pacific Oceans, nearby there are miles of coastline, hiking trails, and more. Some of his famous neighbors include the likes of Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, Steven Spielberg, and more. Adam's estate also has some of its own celebrity history. Reportedly in 2004, Adam and his wife, Jacqueline Sandler, were at Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell's house for a New Year's Eve celebration when his wife said she would like to buy that house. Sources claim the couple actually did buy the massive mansion from Goldie and Kurt the same year for $12 million to be exact. The home was never on the open market and Adam keeps his properties quite private so we've yet to see interiors, but we do know the details. The mansion clocks in at 12,860 square feet of space along with 7 bedrooms, 14 baths, and other high lights 
like a sprawling yard packed with amenities. The Sandler Mansion was built back in 1990, but had underwent major renovations and upgrades since then. Situated on two thirds of an acre of land, outside there's a lot to look at and aerial photos show how expansive the property really is. The features continue out on the grounds, where aside from the massive yard, there's a refreshing swimming pool with spa and terrace space for al fresco entertaining. Being the basketball fan that Adam is, he also has a sports area on his property fitted with the courts, fitness equipment, and much more. If all of that's not enough, the actor also owns the home next door, which spans 3,971 square feet of space with four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Basically the size of a large family home all on his own, and it's likely just serving as a guest house. It appears that the Sandlers do need sufficient guest quarters though because they love inviting their friends and family to stay over. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Adam revealed that he had his entire extended family staying with him for one of his movie premieres. When asked how many family members were staying over, Adam said, Let's put it this way, I've got a big house and there's so many people in the house that my mother and and my mother-in-law are sleeping in the same bed. It's that crowded. Well, that is one big family. Reportedly, Adam's Pacific Palisades compound would be worth an estimated $28 million or more these days. If Adam's Pacific Palisades mansion gets too hectic with family members staying over, he and his family can always head on over to one of their vacation spots, including their lovely Malibu beachfront property. While it's not drastically far from his main residence, it is directly on the water with gorgeous sandy shores to take advantage of. He's often spotted spending time with his family in Malibu and clearly enjoy some downtime here. Adam reportedly purchased this abode in 2001 for just under $4 million, but these days the estimated value has essentially doubled, sitting at over $6 million or nearly $7 million if he ever were to sell. Built in 1947, the house has been remodeled and now offers 4,000 square feet of space along with a super modern vibe which is obvious from the exterior views. The single family house boasts three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and plenty of ocean views through the many full walls of glass inside. Other features at Adam's vacation home include the large entertainment patio at beach level, which is perfect for having guests over and summer parties. There's also a skylight that runs the length of the home inside, allowing all the sunlight to reach you even indoors. His house is situated literally on the beach like I mentioned, and on a highly sought after street with picture perfect views. I wish I had more to show for Adam's homes, but the man is notoriously private with his property. We do know about another place that he purchased for his mom apparently, but he's often spotted visiting and staying here as well. This one is in Florida. Located in the Highland Beach area of Boca Raton, Florida, a town in Palm Beach County. It seems like a much quieter area of the state, unlike Miami for instance, so his mom probably gets some good peace and quiet here. The condo home Adam bought is 2,600 square feet of living space with three beds and three baths, originally built back in 1981 and renovated since. We know from records that the condo is located in the building Parker Highland, which is a boutique a residential building offering only 26 units. The building offers steps directly to the sandy shores of Highland Beach, and if that's not your thing, the residents here can also enjoy a stunning pool and spa setup. In terms of location, it's only minutes away from Boca Raton's downtown district to the south or the north, you'll find downtown Delray Beach for endless entertainment options. Current estimates of the high rise place its value at over $1.25 million, which is a lot more than Adam paid some years ago. Back then, around 1999, it only cost him about 650 k Alright everyone, that is going to wrap up our Adam Sandler house tour. While he's super private about the interiors of his properties, it doesn't take much to conclude that the homes he owns are luxurious as you'd expect from a celebrity like him. Not to mention Adam has come a long way from his humble beginnings growing up in New Hampshire but still pays a visit to his childhood home from time to time. And he doesn't forget his roots. It seems like according to the last time Adam paid a visit to his childhood home, not much had actually changed at all. A few years ago when he was there, it was reportedly the same kitchen, the same bedroom that Sandler shared with his brother, and still had a lot of his old stuff in place, like his albums and his t-shirts, because 
His parents still live there. Well, after seeing what we could on Adam's homes, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.